everyone. I'm going to uh, show you how to use Audacity to resample audio files. So just go ahead and Google Audacity if you don't already have it. it um, it's free software and it can be used on most platforms. I know it's available for Linux. I'm using Linux. It's also available for Windows and available for Macs, which is the big three. So um, grab that before we start. Pause this video and you get it. Okay, so first things first, in Audacity, once we're in here, we want to go to File, Import, and you'll have a little drop-down menu and select Audio, and you'll get your files. So we're going to find a file here. I'm not sure if you can see this. No, all you see is Audacity. Okay. So I'm going to pick a file, and it's going to, I'm going to pick, uh, where's it at? I'm going to pick John Legend's Open Your Eyes. And then it will import it, and so here is the file. So in order to resample it, the first thing I do is I come down here to the bottom left-hand corner, and I change the, the, the project hertz to whatever I want the overall hertz to be. So I'm going to use uh, 528 for this demonstration. And then we select this track by clicking on it. Don't click. I wouldn't click uh, in the middle here of the file. Click on the empty space here underneath the volume and the left and right um, ear section. And then we go back to the top of the menu and uh, go to tracks and one, two, three, fourth, one, fourth item down will say resample. And so it gives you a box which you cannot see. And the box says resample, new sample rate hertz. And what you want it to what you want it to say is whatever you want it to be. And because I changed the project hertz before, I selected the resample option. It has the 528 or 52,800 hertz as the default. Uh, but you can change it to whatever you want. There's a drop-down list of all the defaults. Uh, and then we press OK, and it will resample the track. Does the first section, the second section, and there you have it. Uh, it doesn't look much different because going from 440 to 520 is not a big jump, or not, not a very noticeable jump. If you would resample this to uh, like 174 or something real low, you'd notice a difference, or real high, like. 852, something like that. You probably notice a bigger difference in the actual audio file itself um, up in here where it is. You can actually see the audio. Okay, so now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, and we want to Export. Don't select Export set, uh, Selection. We want to export the whole thing, so select Export. And because my project hurts and my resampled hurts is 528, I cannot save it. I can't. I cannot export it as a, an MP3 file. MP3s have very strict limitations on what it, what they can use. So I have been saving these as um, WAV files, which are a lossless Microsoft audio file. And I always label it so I know that it, it has been resampled. And uh, I just type the number of the hertz that it was in parentheses, and uh, click save, which you can't see any of that. My apologies. I had no idea that was going to happen. Uh, and then it goes through and does it. And that's it. That's how you resample it. It's very simple, very straightforward, uh, easy to do. Uh, next video, I will show you guys how to make binaural tracks, binaural audio files known as binaural beats. Um, some people call them digital drugs, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to show you how to make those in the next episode. And next time, I'll actually have my entire screen so you can see everything that I'm doing and all that jazz. So please like, 
this video, subscribe for more, and uh, share it with your friends. Thanks.